Hi, I'm Mark, Training Manager at Vera Control, and today I'm coming to you from what I like to call Vera Training Central Command. Everybody else calls it my office. And the reason that we're in my office today is that we're going to need my computer in a minute. But before I get to why we're here, let me just remind you once again, at Vera, we don't believe in charging you a monthly fee to allow you to control your Vera Connected Smart Home, and we never ask you to lock yourself into any kind of contract, let alone a long-term contract. With that said, today we're here to talk about cameras, specifically how to add cameras to our Vera Connected network. And there's two different types of cameras that we're going to add. So the first kind are well, Vista cams and other cameras that are listed in the camera section of the add device menu. Those cameras are for the most part plug and play and I'm going to walk you through step by step how to set these cameras up. The other kind of camera is a camera that's not listed there. Most cameras you can still use with your Vera connected network but there's going to be some additional steps. So the first thing that you want to have handy is the manual for that camera because we're going to need to know the user ID and password and we're going to need to know where to find that on our network and I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do that. First we're going to start with adding a Vistacam to our Vera connected network. So let's get started. So from the dashboard we're going to click on devices, add new device, and then go down to security cameras. The camera we're going to install is a Vistacam pan and tilt and we're going to follow the instructions as they're listed on the page. So we're going to start by connecting our Ethernet cable to our router and into the back of our camera. Then we click next. Then we're going to plug the power into our camera. And once we have done that, we're going to click Next. It's going to take the camera a minute or so to go through its wake-up process. And through the magic of editing, here we are. So the next step is to name our camera. I'm going to name this one my office camera. And I'm going to assign it to the office. Now here I have the option to test the camera. Let's do that. And it's working just fine. And we have the option to change credentials. And what that is, is changing our user ID and password for our camera. That is always a very, very good idea. And then when we're done, we click Save. And then we click Finish. We're not actually done configuring our camera yet. We want to go back to the camera. And we can do that by going through the camera menu or through the device menu. We want to select the camera, then go into settings. And there's some options that we can set with the camera. We could also change our user ID and password here. Now, when this camera is selected, when you're viewing it through the user interface, you can select what lights should be turned on. That way if you're looking at it at night, the lights in that room will automatically turn on. The other thing that you can do here is switch to Wi-Fi. And we do that by clicking on switch to Wi-Fi. Your Vera controller will automatically search for networks that it can connect to. You select the network. You put your network password in. and then click Next. The camera is restarting in wireless mode. Please remove the Ethernet cable from the IP camera. After clicking the Next button, the wireless connection will be completed. If it takes more than about five minutes or so for the image to reappear, unplug the camera and plug it back. And that's how you add the Vista Cam or any of the other listed cameras to your Vera Connected network. Now let's talk about other IP cameras. But before we get started, there's a few things that you're gonna to wanna to have handy. You want to have the manual for that camera handy because we're going to need to know the default user ID and password. Now you might want to go into the camera setup menu and change them from the default before you get started. Then you're also going to need the user ID and password for your home network or router because we're going to, we may need to go in there and identify the IP address of that new camera. 
To set up a camera that's not on this list, we can just select generic IP camera or we can go to cameras and click on add camera. And this is going to walk us through the process for a generic IP camera. If it's a camera that's on the list, you want to go to devices. But if you know that it's not, you can go in through the cameras page. In your kit, find the box marked IP camera, remove the camera package from the box, click on next, plug in the ethernet cable to the back of the camera and into your router and click next. And then connect the power. The camera will go through its wake up process and then will be recognized by the system. If it's not, you're going to click on manually install the camera. Now we want to name the camera. Front door camera and that's going to be in my foyer. And then I click finish. But I'm not actually done yet. Next I'm going to select the camera and then go into settings. So we go back into settings so we can change the username and password from the default. So you're going to put the username and password from the owner's manual of your camera here and then we're going to change them here and here. Once you've saved that and it's accepted you can switch your camera into Wi-Fi and that procedure is going to be the same as it was earlier. If our camera doesn't automatically get recognized by our Vera controller what we want to do I'm going to start back at the beginning by clicking on add camera I'm going to walk through these steps. We would click on manually install the camera. And when we manually install the camera, we're again going to name the camera. We're going to select the camera type. In this case, it would be other IP camera. For this next step, I'm going to need the IP address of the camera so that I can get the URL which returns a JPEG or snapshot in the box below. So first we need to find the IP address of the camera. So we can go down here to where it says list network devices or we can go into our router and get the IP address from the routing table. So I click on network list network devices and what do you know the first one to come up is the camera that I'm looking for and it says right there IP camera and I can double check against the back of my camera that the MAC address matches. So now to get the address that I need, I'm going to go to the camera's page, 192, and there we go, 168.1.10, and I click on Enter, and I'm going to click on View Video. Now I'm going to right-click and go to View Image. You then want to highlight that address and copy it and then we're going to paste it in. If we can get return video from your camera through this method, we should be able to include it in your Vera connected system. There are cameras that require that you use a dedicated mobile app or that automatically and only send the images to the web. If they're not accessible in this manner, we can't use those cameras with your Vera connected system. Once we have the address, we're going to paste the address in here. We don't need to fill in this IP address anymore. We want to put in the username and password for our camera here so that Vera can help manage this camera. And then we're going to choose what room this camera is going to go into. Then we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Next. If an image appears, then click Next to install the camera. If it doesn't, click back and make sure that you filled in the fields correctly. and then your camera installation is complete. And that's how you add cameras to your Vera Connected network. Our developers work very hard to make the process as simple as possible for you. Now, if you'd like to know what's going on at Vera before anybody else, follow us on Facebook. That's where we post our newest and most up-to-date news. If you'd like to see these videos before we post them in the Facebook feed, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If there's anything you'd like to hear me talk about in these videos, email us, training at getvira.com. And remember, at Vera, it's not about what we can do, it's about what you no longer have to do.